Hi guys, I'm welcome to a new video. So today I got the Samsung Galaxy S8 on the left and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus on the right. And both of them are running on different Android versions. So the S8 here runs on the Samsung Experience on Android Oreo, while the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus is running on One UI together with Android Pie. And today we are going to compare Samsung Experience to Samsung One UI. Stay tuned for that. Right guys, so first of all I want to prove you that the S8 is running on Android Oreo, so as you can see it says Android version 8.0.0 and here you can see that this here runs on Samsung Experience. So the phone on the right side, which is the Galaxy S9 Plus, runs on the first uh, version of the official One UI of Samsung and this is based on Android Pie where this is Android Oreo. So you can see the different Easter eggs here, this one here has this uh, crazy octopus on the left which uh, lags like hell and this one here has got this uh, crazy P there. Right, so today we are going to compare these two systems in terms of uh, functionality, in terms of design, etc. And yeah, so now let's start with that. Right guys, so at the first look you can see that both of the phones look pretty identical. So I have a pretty identical setup on both phones together with the same wallpaper, with the same widgets, etc. But you can see that there are things which you can't change and these are the icons. Of course you can download some uh, icons from the theme store, but you can't never get the Samsung Experience icons on the One UI or you won't be able to get the One UI icons on the Samsung Experience version. So you can see the icons are quite different and also the icons on the navigation bar are quite different now. Um, so this here is the only big change in the uh, home screen and if you swipe up to get to the app drawer you can see there's uh, almost nothing new they have changed the small indicator at the bottom as you can see and they've also changed the search bar at the bottom so um, this search bar here basically looks pretty identical to the one which we had on Android Nougat so here you can see the new icons on the S9 Plus and the old ones on the S8 Right guys, so the home screen may look quite similar, but the general design of uh, of Samsung has changed a lot together with One UI. So let's start with the notification panel. So here you can see that the design has got has got a big, big, big difference. You can see we got our circled um, toggles again, uh, which we had on Android Marshmallow, and here on this one here we basically have the same. Uh, look which we had on Android Nougat. But the nice thing on this one here is that this dude here has full good lock support. So together with good lock you can change the color of your notification panel, you can change the color of your notifications, you can change the background, you can make the notification panel completely transparent if you want. All of these won't work on this one here. So there is good luck for One UI, but it's really, really, really limited. So if you like customization, this one here is definitely uh, the better one for you. Um, but yeah, you can see the uh, corners of the notification panel is rounded on this one here, which looks also quite nice if you ask me. But the sad thing here is that the corners of the system don't look to the rounded corners of the phone. So the radius is quite different from this corner to this corner, which is quite sad. But um, yeah, so you can pull down a notification panel twice on both phones and you can see that the One UI has got a full screen notification panel now. Um, so this year is, in my opinion, much, much, much better and it also looks much better than this one here just because you can access to all of your notification to uh, quick setting toggles much easier than this one here. So on this one here you need to go all the way up just to turn on or turn off Wi-Fi. On this one here is it's basically much, much, much easier. Um, they have also added something called search. Uh, search bar there so this was also presented on Android's Nougat um, they had removed it together with the Galaxy S8 but now we have our search bar there again which is really really nice so now let's move on to the settings to, sh uh, to take a look at the general design so you can see um, we have almost the same design which we had on the notification panel on One UI so you can see 
here we had our big clock and there was a big empty space here and again we have the same design in the um, settings menu you basically got it in every app so you can see there's a big blank bar at the top and it says uh, there's a big settings label over there just to uh, be able to reach the connections category much easier so on this one here you need to go all the way up in order to go to the connections button on this one you basically need to press here to go there so this is much uh, this is a really really nice thing if you ask me and this is nice that they have added this to the system and the nice thing is that you don't have it on the settings only also the my files app and all of the other things have got it as you can see you can scroll down to reach all of your things much easier so one ui makes the experience to use the phone with one hand much 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 easier so but there are still a lot of problems together with one ui for example if you go to the clock app from here and if you go to the uh, timer you can see there's a big problem so the clock is still at the top it should be at the bottom and there are still a lot of elements which are at the top of the phone like this plus icon over there so you need to go all the way up in order to be able to press on this plus thing there so there are still a lot of problems together with one ui it isn't completely um finished yet if you ask me and also the volume panel is looking not that nice if you ask me so you can see it's not a full screen volume panel you need to pull it down from all the way up to the bottom in order to expand it so this is not a really really nice thing you can see the volume panel is still at the top instead of being on the right side just like in uh, stock uh, AOSP with Android Pi so there are still a lot of things which which could be changed if you ask me right guys so now let us talk about the recent app switcher because this was a thing where a lot of people had big 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 complaints about so now let us go to the recent app switcher you can see the recent app switcher has got a really really big redesign you can see that the uh, recent app switcher on android pi is 100 percent copied from ios 7 from 2013 which is not a really nice move from google to be honest but yeah, so on one UI you will need to scroll uh, horizontally and on Android's Oreo you will need to scroll vertically. But this one here has also got a few problems. For example, if you open the Google app on both phones and if you go to the recent app switcher, you can still see the Google app over there. But on the uh, Android Pie version, you are not able to see the Google app anymore because it scrolls back to the camera. So you can see it scrolls to the app which you had be opened before and you are not able to see which apps you have opened on the left and on the right. So on this phone here, you can see that you have opened the Google Google app, the camera app, the Samsung internet app and the phone app. On this one here you can only see the camera at once. And you can also see there is no label anymore so there is just this icon there and this thumbnail which also has got a few issues as you can see it's completely black. Um, they are also big problems together with the keyboard if you go to the thumbnail view but yeah. This one here has also got a another big advantage so if you go to the uh, three dot menu here you can enable the uh, list view from here so let me do that quickly you can see now we have a much better organized recent app switcher and you can see up to 10 apps at the same time without scrolling so on this one here you are forced to scroll in order to switch between your apps while on this one here you will never need to scroll unless you open more than 10 apps at the same time. So you can also see that the close all button has got a small redesign. The close all button on, on Android uh, Oreo was a little bit bigger. And yeah, so you can also see you have a search bar at the top. So I don't know why you need a search bar in the recent app switcher, but hey, it's there. And you also got um, suggested apps in your recent apps panel so you can see these are the apps which you had opened a few minutes ago this is also something which may be useful i personally never use it so let me turn this thing off right guys so the last thing i want to talk about is the camera so First of all, I want to show you how fast you can take a video together with Samsung Experience. So to take a video together with the Samsung Experience, you will need to open the camera and you can directly take a video from here. In order to take a video on One UI, you will need to open the camera app, then you will need to scroll to the video category, you will need to wait 
and then you are ready to take a video which is really really annoying so this is something which in my opinion really 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 sucks um but this is the only thing which is really bad in the new uh, camera update. So you can see that they have changed the interface a little bit. You can see that they have moved the Bixby Vision and the AR emoji to the top, which is really nice because they were really annoying here and there. Um, and yeah, something which is also not that smart is that they have replaced the numbers, the zoom numbers with um, trees. So as you can see, there are trees now. Uh, there's a double tree and there's a single tree there um, so this is basically your zoom control for your optical zoom so we don't have, we don't have this on the galaxy s8 because the s8 has only got one single camera there but you can see that they've uh, replaced the numbers with threes which is not that smart if you ask me but yeah so you can also see that you got a few more elements on um on the right side here so you get your uh, think there the screen optimizer so if you take a photo of your food for example it will directly switch to the um, food mode so this is a much smarter camera in general than this one here um, right so as you can see in general uh, the other things they uh, still look pretty identical if you go to the settings for example they are still the same things um over here and um yeah you can also see that you got your one ui there and um yeah so this is the cam right guys so this is it if you still have uh questions about one ui about, or about the difference of one ui and samsung experience you can ask the questions in the comment section down below i will try to uh, answer mm. i will try to answer to all of you and um yeah have a nice day. Peace out.